Today we are continuing our Nixos journey, Nixos journey, um, and I have decided to install some applications to see how that goes. And um, both of these I've actually tried before, but not in this particular configuration. This I've tried these in an ad hoc configuration before. I've got both of them running before. Haven't tried them in this configuration, but I'll try Steam and the Olive Video Editor, uh, which I use to edit my videos. Um, let's try. The Steam is actually pretty simple <laughs> to set up. Uh, let's see. Got <clears throat> uh, I don't even know where to. I don't, even, I don't know where to put this stuff. But programs, Steam, enable. So true. Seriously. Let's run our configuration. Build, switch. Now, what's different about when I ran, when I installed the Steam since the last time? I, I when I was when I saw it the last time, I was in hybrid mode, or sorry, in off load mode in the in the next configuration. I was not in in sync mode. Um, I was using my Intel GPU instead of using my NVIDIA GPU, in other words. And <clears throat> I'm not sure how, whether Steam is going to work under my NVIDIA GPU or not. We'll find out. We are going to find out. Um, I am have another machine. I don't, I'm not going to bother downloading a game. I'm just going to try to stream a game from another machine in this in this place, which did work before, um, it took some, some strangeness, if I remember properly, I had to, I had, uh, you know, it was one of those things where I'm not sure exactly what happened. It didn't work and then it worked, one of those kind of things. Um, so I suspect what's going to happen after we get done with this, um, after we get done, done with installing Steam here, my suspicion, I would probably bet that it's not going to work. And I'm going to have to reboot or something. And it might work then. Or maybe if I put it in offline mode, it'll work. Or sorry, offload mode, it might work. But we'll find out in a moment. If this takes too much longer, I'll just speed it up till the end. All right, 2 minutes, 13 seconds. Let's try to invoke Steam, shall we? There it is. All right, I'm just gonna update it. Fine, fine. Find it. Cool, cool. All right, I don't see any of these streamability these games showing up here. That's a little strange. Because I have them running on the machine. Let me start it over again. Okay, so I expect this to fail. This failed before when I installed it for the first time. <clears throat> That's fine. Good times, good times. Okay, cool. You guys saw it here first. It worked the first time. So, very good. That's awesome. I'm not going to play it, though. Steam works. Check. Now let's get rid of it. And then, um, Olive, 
Olive Editor. So this is the uh, this is the video editor I use. The video editor. Sudovim. That's the uh, NixOS config. And the name of the package is Olive Dash Editor. So first thing we'll try is to install it, just like any other thing. Add it to this list here. So you do NixOS rebuild um, switch. See what happens. Do 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 do. do. Get a bunch of stuff. So it's trying to build all oh, editor. Okay, so we have a build failure, which isn't a surprise to me because um, this is what happened before. So we have this build failure. We added olive editor to our configuration. That next file. That's all we did. Um, so we can try to find out what happened by going to olive editor in search.nixos.org. And clicking on it, and if you click on your your architecture here, it'll bring you to the Hydra build system, which NixOS uses. And you can see that um, it has been failing recently. I don't know if the charts actually have any useful information. Probably not. But in here is also the last successful build. Oops. Finished evaluation. Okay. Well, I do have I do have access to the last successful build somehow. I don't know how I got it though. Did I get it this way? Maybe I went to one of them. Hmm. Look like it. Locally, build step, details. Okay. Links. Huh. Well, geez, now I don't remember how I got the last successful build. Or last. Ah, I'm so sorry. I don't. I do not remember how I got this, but. Oh, that stinks. I'm sorry, but I did manage to dig or poke around a bit and found, you know, the last good build. And if you could find the last good build of Olive Editor, it'll tell you how to install it via Nixenv, which we'll install it and we'll leave it alone. It's it, it's an imperative thing. Nixenv, when you install when you install packages via Nixenv, it's not declarative. It's you know, it's kind of like doing an apt apt get install except it's, a, it's actually even more static oh here's the here's the last build I have the URL to it I just don't know how I got there I don't know how I how I got here but that is the last build and here's the button that tells us how to install it with Nixon I'm just going to copy this here. Did I, make it, did I just paste it in wrong? I guess so. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure why it... Okay. All right. Fine. Oh, man. Okay. Olive. Nope. Let's see. Olive. Editor. It's there. It just doesn't want to show up in the okay so that works yeah it works it's not very legible it does work though um yeah that experience is not one that i'm uh, I'm, I'm loving i that is not great 
Um, yeah, yeah. So honestly, I wouldn't know how to increase the font size there. Wouldn't know how to do it. Um, yeah. So as we can tell, you know, some things work just out of the box. Just works. Just works real. Works great. Other things. Not only don't they work out of the box, but they when they don't work, the well, I should say this: you can probably make them work. You can probably make some some version of them work. But when you do, you are on your own. You you will you will receive no love from anyone for those things. Um, so, in reality. Uh, if you run across a broken package like this, I'm sure there's some nominal maintainer of the yellow editor, but I'm sure they're very busy. It's not something that's bugging them. So um, you 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 know, he who smelt it dealt it. <laughs> so I found it. I'll, I would if if I if I wanted to get it working. It's likely that I'd have to fix it myself. Um, you can tell that things are, eh, you know, <laughs> a little bit hanky, uh, and but it is really a great opportunity if you are interested to, you know, get down the nuts and bolts of the thing. If you really want to understand both how Next worked and and how Linux worked and how compilers work and all that stuff, um, it is a target rich environment to go fix stuff so anyway that's my video i'm glad um i'm i'm glad that uh i'm glad i made it i mean oh by the way i should also note that um uh the, the olive editor stuff is is distributed via an app image on it on the olive website for, for linux um which is a problem for Nix OS because Nix and App App Image don't get along. Nix, Nix and Flatpak appear to get along, but Nix and App Image are, are the Wild West. So even if I wanted to, you know, download the original distribution, you know, the quote unquote distribution agnostic version via App Image, I probably couldn't run it on Nix OS. So I, 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 you are held to the with your feet to the flames on this one. All right.